When it's this hot, sometimes you just have to break the rules. Londoners are looking for relief from the stifling conditions making life slow and sweaty in the city. It's an official heat wave that some are trying to embrace. I think everyone's enjoying the sunshine here and soaking up some rays and get, getting their tan topped up. All this week, temperatures are expected to hit the mid to low 30s, nearly 10 degrees warmer than average for this time of year. It comes after an unusually hot June and the hottest May on record in the UK. This summer will shape up to be undoubtedly one of the top, top 10 warmest. England has been keeping temperature records in one form or another since the time of Cromwell in the mid 1600s. This, this professor like says this, if these conditions this, continue, this summer could smash no records. Currently, that record shows that the warmest summer was 1976, so that was about 40 years ago. Uh, and at the moment, our temperatures are tracking 1976. So given another four or five weeks of this weather, we could just top that one uh, and it could become the warmest in, in the instrumental record of 350 years for sure. The heat has been amplified by a lack of moisture. It's been seven weeks or so since the last significant rainfall. The hot conditions are hitting farmers the hardest. Not only are they starting to run out of feed for their livestock, but the fields that they're harvesting are so dry they're starting to crack in desperate need of rain. The city's parks are also scorched to the point that sun seekers are starting to blend in with the bleached grass. And while public health officials are asking people to stay inside during peak sun hours, not many are listening. I'd rather it be this than freezing Wind cold. and rain, yeah. There is some rain in the forecast on Friday. Until then, Londoners will be doing what they can to keep cool. Katie Simpson, CBC News, London. Sizzling heat and in some places drenching rains. That seems to be the story across the northern hemisphere this summer. <laughs> Officials in Japan are warning a scorching heat wave will persist into next week. At least 80 deaths have been blamed on the extreme temperatures. And earlier this month, more than a million people fled their homes in central Japan when the region was hit with torrential rain. In Europe, the record dry heat has brought wildfires. An entire village in Greece wiped out when flames ripped through the town earlier this week. Wildfires are even burning above the Arctic Circle as Sweden struggles with some of its worst heat in years. In the United States, thousands are seeing their vacation plans go up in smoke. A section of Yosemite National Park has been closed and tourists have been ordered to leave as a wildfire in Northern California creeps ever closer. Here at home, a heat wave in Quebec this month left as many as 70 people dead. And in Ottawa today, the wettest July 25th on record. Well, this seems like a good time to check in with our CBC News meteorologist, Johanna Wagstaff, who is in Vancouver. Really a, a day of extremes around the world, but, but I guess this is the new normal. Yeah, you're right, Ian. Uh, these kinds of extremes are becoming the new normal. Over the past century, uh, human-made greenhouse gas emissions have meant that heat records are being broken more and more frequently, and we're seeing less of the cold records. Now, that's not to say that any one person will still experience an unusually harsh winter or a cold season, but the signature of climate change is unmistakable. In fact, in the 1990s, for the Earth, a unusually cold or a below seasonal cold year was becoming rare and it's virtually extinct now, Ian. Hey, I know you're used to in Vancouver giving the forecast for tomorrow or maybe five days, but, but I'd like you to look ahead for a year. What, what should we be expecting? I think we can do that uh, with the help of uh, the sea surface temperatures in the equatorial Pacific. That's where scientists are looking now for clues about the year ahead. And it looks like we're in a building El Nino. So this is a large scale weather phenomenon that changes the weather patterns all around the world. And globally, this is when we get our hottest temperature, uh, temperature records around the world. So it does look like We'll see more of these heat records broken over the next 9 to 18 months. And as our baseline shifts up, even naturally occurring phenomenon like El Nino will also just get hotter in the future, Ian. Thanks, Johanna. You're welcome.